James Kaufman, World News Report today. Ladies and gentlemen, eight new quasi-mini-moons. That's right. As of today, Earth now has eight new mini-moons following it around. And we'll show you that Yahoo article. I think we caught one of these on GOES 19 Core 1. That is the moon, I believe. This is Earth, I believe. And we are catching a rock coming right by it here. Unbelievable. Again, I want to thank Corey Burnett on this one. I believe that to be the moon. Believe it or not. And this is Earthshiner. That's what they're calling it. And then you see Earth below it. But you also see, now this could be a shadow from the satellite, but it looks like a actual quasi-moon. It turns out they discovered the eighth mini-moon orbiting Earth or moving along with Earth today, as I will show you. Here you have all three. You have the moon in the picture. You have what could be one of the space rocks, i.e. mini-moons, and what could be Earth here. Very, very hard to tell. And I'll show you that. I'm guessing this is the moon, even though it seems to turn around here. These are always never a good sign either. See if the moon comes back through again as it has so many times before. Most of the tape's unusual, uh, unusable because of the earth shine. Look at the time. Zero hundred. Go back here. More earth shine. Six. Every few hours there's earth shine is what they call it. And there is what I assume could be one of the new mini moons or it could be just a shadow on what they say is earth and this could be the moon there's a lot of things these could be i think it's amazing how they won't answer any questions and yes i have contacted them today for answers and you can see as of today september 22nd meet Earth's new travel buddy, another tiny quasi-moon, was discovered. Ladies and gentlemen, that makes eight. I'm about to show you all. That's eight moons that we have. They're calling them quasi-moons because they don't know if they're large enough to be categorized as moons themselves. Solar system is full of surprises. And we have new 2025 PN7. That is right. They call it a quasi moon because it's really not hooked to Earth's uh, gravitational field. It's following Earth in its same orbit, from what this says. Now, this will make number eight. And let me see. With this new addition, there are now eight quasi moons speeding through space alongside Earth. Was that one of them that we just saw? 2025 PN7. I don't know, folks. This could be Earth. This could be the moon. This could be a reflection of GOES-19 Core 1 instrumentation. This could be a space rock. This could be a meteor. This could be a quasi-moon. There's no telling with NASA's new equipment, is there? We'll go through it one last time. What a freak show. First year of the moon coming through. It only went through once. Look how many times you have whiteout conditions. They call that, here, here comes the moon. And we had what looked like a group of asteroids or meteor shower there. I don't know what that is on the far left coming in screen. But you can see it starts here. Then it's here, and then it's here. It looks like a flying saucer to me. Wild. Here, here, and finally there. Unbelievable. And we're going to have more Earthshine, is what they're calling it. Ridiculous, because it 
makes the tool useless. And then, of course, our space rock, or whatever it might be. Reflection, space rock, asteroid, meteor, mini moon, quasi moon, etc. Who saw the spaceship? Only me? Wow. God bless. Let me know if y'all saw the spaceship. Please share, subscribe, and always remember anything's possible in the bizarro world.